We're currently in opposition, but we don't exist to be in opposition. We're in politics to serve the British people and to make their lives better. It's not our right, but it is our mission, our duty, and intent. So we need to get back on track. But before we can do that, there's something we need to say. Sorry. Sorry on behalf of the Conservative Parliamentary Party who let you down. I hadn't planned to run for leader. I could have taken the easy option, sat this one out, spent more time with my wife, with my boys, with my Warhammer figures. <laughs> but I went into politics to get things done, not watch from the sidelines, and all the more so after the defeat that we've just had. I need to do this for the party that I love and for the country that I love. Compare that with what we saw at the Labour Party conference just last week. A party drunk on power who lied to the British people. Glasses for passes, favours for friends, swamped in scandal. And even worse, inflation-busting pay rises to their union paymasters, taken straight out of the pockets of British pensioners. Our plans for defence reversed, a mass release of prisoners and no plan for our borders. Because leadership is about things like making the tough decisions when you get that ugly phone call in the middle of the night about keeping this country safe. And because I've been there, because I know in detail what the government should be doing right now, I know in detail how they're failing. Now is not the time for an apprentice. <laughs> I'm not doing this because I want to be something. I'm doing this because I want to do something. Renew, yes. Rebuild, yes. To deliver for our party, yes. But mainly to deliver for our country. There is no time to lose, and I don't lose. So if you want a winner, choose one. Choose someone who can deliver results, who can communicate effectively and who campaigns relentlessly. Choose someone who you know and who is tested and who doesn't hide from the media. Choose someone who is not afraid of the public but is popular with the public and choose the candidate who Starmer, Farage and Davy fear the most, because I will not accept the status quo. I will not accept defeatism, and I will not accept defeat. I want to get the heel of the state off of your neck, get their noses out of your business, and get their hands out of your pocket. As your leader, I will not waste a day dreaming about yesterday. I will use today to make good on the promise of tomorrow. I will deliver a positive vision, a conservative vision. But conference, we must start now.